There are many talented individuals who excel above all others in their respective fields. Artists, writers, sportsmen. But there is one young man who dominates his particular calling to a degree unlike any other, who is unsurpassed and unmeasured against all competition. Rupert J. Miyamoto is the world's greatest video gamer. Undefeated in all forms of computer game combat, Rupert holds gaming records for endurance, skill and technique. His feats include accomplishing world record scores in Agaragura and Pac-Man, and his discovery of the legendary Triforce of Zelda. His feats of gaming greatness over the years have led to fame, accolade, awards, and women. No other individual has ever come close to matching his brilliance. He is, to put it simply, the best. I am quite dewy towards gaming, or what led to my success. I'm just the best, to put it simply. You know, nobody ever asked Muhammad Ali why like he, like he was the best, or, or Tiger Woods why he was the best golfer. You know, in my field, I am the best gamer that there is. It just comes naturally. The computer game industry has always attracted the most skilled and talented young men from around the globe, all eager to prove themselves against the elite. The potential contained here soon attracted the attention of the US military, with the United States Air Force in particular requiring talented young pilots for their new attack fighter, the F-22 Raptor. They soon realized that Rupert, with his near superhuman levels of reflexes, control and dexterity, was perfect for their needs. Rupert was immediately offered the chance to leave the world of video gaming and to become a top-ranking tactical fighter pilot with the US Air Force. He said no. This is his story. Yeah, I usually start with a cup of tea and then I might drink some fruit juice with potassium. Yeah, you know, I might get a quick shower, but from then on, it's just pure gaming all, all the way. I'll start off with something light, like Gran Turismo, uh, and then, then I'll move on to the games you know, I've been playing for years. Mario 64, Zelda Ocarina of Time, for instance. And, uh, I mean, Zelda itself, I've, I've completed that 250 times in 10 years it's been released. And that's a record. Yeah, I specialise mostly in N64 games. Yeah, I can play any console, but N64 in particular. And as well as Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time, there's a... Uh, there's lots of other games I play regularly, like you know, Smash Brothers, Star Fox, Hit Mario, Mario Kart, GoldenEye, of course, you know, Mario Golf, Mario Tennis, Mario Party. You know, there's some days when I'll just devote myself to Nintendo. This isn't a decision based on what's right or wrong or what's technically superior. It's faith. After Nintendo, uh, I might do something a little bit more in depth, like online gaming, play until midnight. Before bedtime, I, uh, I tend to play Tetris or Advance Wars on the Game Boy. Uh, and then I get tired and drift off to sleep and, and dream about computer games. As a special treat for the purposes of this documentary, Rupert has allowed us the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to film a played run-through of Super Mario 64, the game that first made him world-famous. Rupert plays Mario like no other, running, leaping and fighting with a seemingly ethereal precision and grace. Rupert's incredible gameplay style has allowed him to exploit the in-game engine to unheard of levels, allowing him to become one with Mario as it were. Using complex mathematical calculations in his approach, and helped by his own brilliant control of Mario, Rupert has the ability to complete stage after stage while collecting stars and coins at incredible pace. Video game insiders and longtime Miyamoto fans compare his work to that of great artists and scientists of our time. Here's the first boss boss. I am the best. Uh, 
Unsurprisingly, Rupert is not the product of a particularly normal upbringing. Rupert's biological father is legendary game designer Shigeru Miyamoto, regarded as a gaming legend throughout the world. In England, on Miyamoto's world tour of 1987, he was introduced to Rupert's mother, Diana, the Princess of Wales. Young and naive, Diana was immediately struck by the dashing and charismatic Miyamoto, and Rupert was conceived during their brief, passionate affair. However, it was not long before the pregnancy came to the attention of the royal family. Horrified at the prospect of a half-Japanese brother for William and Harry, they demanded that the baby be put up for adoption. Abandoned by his parents, Rupert was placed in Gridler Street House, a state-run workhouse and orphanage. Here, the young Rupert would begin his life. Life in the orphanage was, was tough, you know. I just have memories of being kicked and punched and kicked you know, and other stuff. I remember the day distinctly, actually. It was an abandoned uh, Atari Jaguar console, which one of the guards found in, in the alleyway. And uh, he brought it in for the orphans to play on. And as you can imagine, it was, it was quite quite tough fighting off the big kids for uh, to have a turn in it. But you know, I soon have respect for some badass gameplay. It was through life there that, that I turned to video games, and that way I could show all my adversaries who's boss, you know, through superior skill and aggression. After escape from the orphanage, uh, the natural thing to do is to become a professional computer gamer. And I've devoted my life to computer games ever since. Having embarked on his path, Rupert quickly advanced through the ranks of professional gaming, defeating gamers of many nationalities and races, before eventually assuming his destined place as the world's greatest video gamer. My whole life doesn't totally revolve around playing computer games. I mean, in my spare time, I'll go to the local community centre and uh, help the disadvantaged children by teaching them how to play games. Uh, and sometimes, you know, I want to go out to conventions, sign autographs, and just generally mingle. Uh, you, know, you know, I think it's important to keep my fan base happy. I turned down the US Air Force uh, opportunity based, you know, based on obvious reasons, but... I mean, if you understand why, why they wanted me, but at the end of the day, I'm just too much of a loose, loose cannon, and uh, but I just said, no, you know, I, I can't follow these rules and regulations. Uh, I'm far too dynamic for that, you know. I can't, I can't just take orders from the man. Um, and that's, that's why I play gaming. Sometimes I walk past the school or a supermarket, and you just see all the throngs of people getting on with their daily, boring, basic lives. They'll, they'll never understand the, the subtle intricacies of uh, playing games, and you know, I, pity, I pity them in a way. The frontiers of computer gaming are forever expanding. And for Rupert, many opportunities and adventures lie in wait. Who really knows what the future has in store for Rupert Miyamoto? Yeah, I, I guess it's fair to say that I am Jesus. God sent me, his son, to this world with my great gaming ability to make the world a better place. I have God to thank for that. Who really knows what the future has in store for Rupert Miyamoto? All we know for certain is that it's gonna be one wild ride.